Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to learn about synthetic security transactions to monitor the site availability and responsiveness. So, when it comes to the Azure application insights, uh, which will send the web request to your applications at a regular interval from pointing around the world where you can specify the regions, locations, and then uh, it will set a regular interval of communication like a ping kind of a test which it does and it can alert you if the application isn't responding or if it is res responding too slow so you can set up these availability tests uh, for any of the http or https endpoints that is accessible from public internet and you don't have to do any kind of changes to your website uh, for this testing in fact uh, if doesn't uh, even have to be you to be owner of that site so it just the it, it just does that uh, testing based on the pings and based on the URL opening time and it give you the complete alert so you can even do this uh, availability test with the help of rest API also and now when it comes to the availability test you have the three different options the first one being said URL ping test which is a simple test that you can create within Microsoft Azure portal to test a single URL and you get the uh, intervals of five minutes or whatever the minutes of intervals you want to know verify and you get the output so that you can get it even a alert also coming back to the multi-step website uh, testing where you would be recording with the help of Visual Studio in a project and you extract all the URLs like you know you first open the uh, specific application which you wanted to monitor and it will list all the URLs within a text file and that text file will be uploaded to multi-step web test uh, project again the file should be uploaded to the Azure portal and from there you can do it and the third one uh, which is a custom track availability test uh, where you can do it uh, this one is if you decide to create a custom application and you want to run uh, with the availability test with the uh, simple code called track availability within your application method and that can be used to send and results the complete information to back to application inside so you can tightly integrate with your custom applications with the help of application insights so that's a third method and we're going to perform the first two as a demonstration and out of these three at least one of the question you can expect within az500 exam um, that's my guess uh, at least because i've seen a couple of times these questions so let's jump into the demonstration and how we can do this let's go back to this your portal uh, to demonstrate the URL ping test so I'm just going back to my resources and you can see here I have a web application also application inside so the first one would be the uh, I will try to open web application that's a Paddy easy exam is the application name and you see here uh, within this ap application you can uh, see this th that's a URL you can open that URL and also you have application insight which is this so what I'm gonna do is I've just copied the URL of my application and coming back to the availability I came to availability and click on add test here and then you can give the test name and you're gonna do actually ping test so you can give here the URL of your application so I'm gonna paste that URL and I'll be giving here as the uh, ping to web app that's a URL based testing and simply uh, I can go back to my uh, web based uh, phrases like you know if I choose the uh, phrase deployment uh, request this is gonna uh, check even the images scripts styles so instead of that I'm actually gonna use the enable uh, retrieves for availability test failures so I wanted to use this checkbox and then proceed further this would actually does the uh, normal tests uh, for the if any test is failed it's gonna report back and the test frequency is the five minutes what I have taken here and if you see here the most important point would be 
test location so these are the locations that you can test it so you have the availability to test from throughout the globe so you can use any of the regions and uh, simply choose whatever the region you want to test it so that let's say you have uh, you have a user experiencing maybe from east us maybe experiencing some latency so you can easily find out by doing these kind of tests so I would be going back for the success criteria in this case 120 seconds uh, if it is timed out of that specific HTTP request and then that's a problem and it must be a report back to 200 code uh, for that specific web application and you can use that so that uh, it's going to just uh, verify based on that code uh, and if you are looking for any additional code information you can paste that but i'm just created this simple web test so it's simply going back to the url and it's going to test so what i'll do is i would like to stop my web service so that or my web application so that it can show some kind of errors so let's go back to my uh, resources maybe uh, and then take that web application and simply stop the service so if you see here this is a web application which is working fine now so I'm gonna stop that so that would result me as uh, the specific application would result me as application not able to open so you see I got an error as final 503 instead of 200 so I should be able to get an error and the time what we have specified is the interval of five minutes so it's gonna report within five minutes all that information back so I'll wait for five minutes and I'll come back to the portal and I'll have a look on the availability so if I just go back to availability here and you see here it's still taking some time I'll just wait for five minutes and if I just refresh now I can see here the fail and success so even I can look at in the time based or I can look at the availability test what happened um, these five or the errors all that information can be sorted if I just uh, click on that I would be getting more information let's say this is actually testing from US Central and uh, whatever the uh, status it's actually doing like in you know, a ping to that specific web application error code is 200 so it got success uh, because we are looking at the success ones if you are looking for the time based if you see here the green line is coming close to this time uh, if I just go for scattered plot instead of the line based uh, and the rest of them are completely uh, errored so that's where I got the errors almost from there and I should be able to see all the errors in total total uh, 20 times it has reported as a failed so that's good so this is how you are actually checking the simple URL ping test mechanism so let's jump into multi-step web testing demonstration now we will be performing multi-step web test so multi-step is nothing but actually a multi-step recording will happen within visual studio so that's why we are actually called multi-step web test so where you will extract a list of web URLs that are internally dependent because the previous demo we are only demonstrated with a single URL so that we know that the availability of that specific website now think that you know there could be a multiple uh, URLs are representing your application and that are interrelated and some part of application only uh, causing some issues so you need to know that what are those URLs are performing some issue or maybe a security concern so in that situation you would be you know, performing this specific uh, steps to in order to test that web application so let's jump into that so before we jump uh, actually the visual studio I have installed just now and if you see here under available there should be some kind of uh, application should be actually taken so you would actually get it something called web performance and load testing specific thing so once you have that checkbox you can actually 
uh, you can proceed further so that is not uh, installed by default in your visual studio professional and post to that you just click on create a new project and filter with the web project which i just told you uh, where you are going to use the specific component for installation also you should be installing the specific component web performance and load testing tools will be there actually here um, this is where actually it comes as a tools uh, when you're trying to install the visual studio as an additional component um, you need to go to the individual components and get it installed so once you have that tools uh, within the project you can create the specific project called web performance and load testing project and just give the meaningful name for your project uh, all we are going to do is we are actually simply extracting the URLs so once you create that uh, project uh, it actually adds the code so there will not be much code it's a simple button will be added within your code so once I have given this proper name like multi step web test click on create so this would take a minute or so to create in the back end all the solution specific files for your, uh, files within your visual studio and then you have here the web test so click on that button to test it and give the URLs so when you give the URLs uh, you can browse let's say this is your application and you want to you know click on maybe some link within that application so what happens is it's going to record all the URLs and if you see here it's actually uh, recording all these URLs within here and also here so once the all the uh, testing is completed with your URLs you can stop it or pause it so let's let's say I just have clicked on two three click two three clicks on a different URLs and once I have done that I simply have to save and you see here this is the web test dot dot web test file which contain all these files all these links so I need to upload this file so what I'll do is I'll just have a look on from the properties of here uh, wherever the file is located I'll simply take it so or you simply go back to your uh, explorer and take that file I'll be going back to the path and I'll simply copy that path or I'll just try to open and show you uh, by taking out the file name so that's a file web test dot web test that's a web test one dot web test and I'll simply go back to Azure portal and application insights then I'll just go back to availability click on availability then simply add test this time I'm gonna do instead of the simple URL ping test I'll be choosing as the multi-step web test and give you a meaningful name here as a demo or something like that and here I need to upload the file which we have generated uh, with the help of Visual Studio by opening all that URL so I'll simply go for that path and choose the web test one dot web test file uh, which was generated and you have all that um, again when I say all that the locations and the success criteria only differs here the success criteria is completely based on the file which we have provided and you can enable the alerts also it's gonna check from a different locations also so it's as simple as that um, for the multi-step web test so once you have done uh, saving part you would be seeing here under availability test I hope this is useful for you and I will be resuming in another five minutes or so so that you would be able to see here if I just go back to application insight and and availability if you see here there are two things which are green now uh, which is the multi site as well as the pink so here the ping also got success because of the site is available. I hope this is useful for you. Thank you for watching this. I'll catch you in the next lecture.